Overall, how you felt and uh, what the team accomplished? Yeah, I just think we came out with, with an edge. I think we came out ready to play. Um, and I just like the physicality up front and, and everyone um, who played. So. Dylan, your run game today was really impressive. I mean, talk about how that just came up the game and what you saw that you thought you could have this kind of Yeah, um, you know, just had it in the game plan. Uh, you know, know what the run game, uh, just being able to be very versatile in what we do uh, and being a part of that. So, um, you know, I'm just doing my job and when my name's called, uh, answering the call. So, what do you think of the record of the eight touchdowns? Cool. You know, that's, I, I think, uh, not necessarily the record, but I just think, uh, you know, from the past two weeks and then today, I think just how we responded, um, just how we played together. And like I said, the physicality, I think you could feel it um, up front, on the perimeter, um, and us as a whole. So. As usual, Dylan, uh, you're being super humble on this record thing. Yeah. We had to look it up. Uh, Kyler Murray and Baker Mayfield had seven combined touchdowns. You've had, you had eight. What does that mean to you to be above that echelon? So, I don't look at it as a bug. I just look at, you know, this is the standard here, and um, I'm blessed to be a part of it. Um, yeah, you know, every day you walk by Heisman parking lot and, you know, see those guys. So uh, for me, like I said, it's just chasing that standard and uh, being a part of something greater than myself. Dylan, you mentioned the team coming out with an edge. It seemed like from the get-go you guys were, were – we're following pretty well. Maybe how much, how needed was that after a couple of, of days? Yeah, I think it's. I don't, I don't know if it's needed or. I just think you know with what happened the past two weeks and you know just. Um, you know it's it's tough. It's a roller coaster of life of football. You know this game will, you know humble you. But uh, I just think, you know the way we came out, uh, just guys that are hungry. I think we had a, our best week of practice. Um, you know, I, I told a bunch of guys that I just think, you know, the preparation is something that, you know, is often said, but, you know, when you do it at a high level, I think, you know, you reap the benefits on getting to. Drake mentioned uh, his last touchdown, said he got the breath knocked out of him, and he looked up and sees you, sees Jalil, a little bit of action going on. What, yeah. did you, what happened on that? What did you, what was your perspective of that? Yeah, just, it's, it's football, it's competitive. You know, if you want to watch tennis or, you know, watch something that's not as competitive, you can flip the channel but I just say in the game uh, you know uh, the ebbs and flows I think uh, you know it's, it's my brother someone that you know I, I love a, a bunch so seeing him go down you know me questioning what it looked like I guess from my angle you know I, I had some kind words to say to him but um, like I said it's just competitive it's football um, that's what you sign up for it's a, a physical environment so I'm glad Drake's good um, you know, I'm glad the situation was, was okay. It's just, you know. Drake's turned into a really important part of this offense recently. You talk about your chemistry with him and how mm -hmm. big it was tonight. He just topped his career high for yards. Yeah, I think it goes back to January, you know, us being in the same master's classes and, uh, you know, just spending a lot of time there and then in workouts and even, you know, throwing. He's the first guy, you know, uh, you know to text me and whether it's, you know, just – going to eat or uh you know throwing the ball around uh he's just a guy i love you know he's i think our you know personalities mesh really well so um you know i love that guy and i'm, I'm proud of him what was the master's class was it like post corners and <laughs> dig routes we, we talked about class for a little bit and then it was <laughs> somehow pulling up tape but um i, I wish i could tell you the class <laughs> the connection's been stronger the last two weeks? Is there just game plan, something that just a concerted effort by you to, to find him? Um, I think it's a mixture. I think he's really good at getting open, so naturally you, you get to him in, in your progressions or, um, you know, how, how we play things out. But um, he's, you know, you watch the tape. I mean, you could go on every single play and he's open somehow. So, um, you know, our connection started there. Some things that are off script that I think is truly just chemistry and us, you know, growing um, in our, you know, passer to receiver relationship, but also, um, you know, trust. That's huge um, outside of the game, just in general, when, you know, things are maybe off schedule. I think, you know, it, it helps having a guy who's very smart and um, plays his butt off. So.
Dylan quarterback and coordinator, play caller are kind of tied together, right? Mm -hmm. And when things things do go off track, even for two weeks, you know, he, he can get pretty intense. Mm -hmm. Was this a night that you can be happy for Jeff as well? Of course. Um, that's one, I'm a believer in him uh, as a person, but also a believer in his system and what he does offensively. Um, I think when you, you look back, we've found a way to shoot ourselves in the foot a lot of times, but um, it's, it's part of the game. And, you know, it's, I, I say it's a roller coaster because, you know, two weeks ago, our, our thoughts are completely different than where we are sitting now, you know, and um, that's the game. But that's why we continue to try and stay even kill and, uh, you know, kind of on a, a, a horizontal plane, I guess you could say, because, you know, everyone else is like this, which it's football, you know, and, yeah. you know, we're, we're players, you know, we feel it. And, and I know fans feel it. I know uh, people around this university, everyone loves OU, you know, so I, I don't expect anything different. I just believe that... Um, if this isn't the example of life and uh, the ups and downs of it, I don't know what is. So I'm, I'm blessed to be a part of it. Um, I'm happy for Coach, but I'm happy for everyone who's involved because everyone, you know, puts their 1% or maybe a little more than that into to what we do. So. You got the tight end going tonight. Uh, talk about that. that, just, that yeah, we, uh, me and Stog, uh, we, it's been a, a conversation for sure. Uh, but he's a, a talented guy, and I think, you know, after Andrew went down, I know everyone had to step up, and um, I think a lot of guys have done that. So I'm proud of him, I'm proud of who he is, and just how he's played. Hey, Dylan, um, Brent talked about the idea of being relentless to improve, something that he's talked to you guys about. You guys to, I know everybody would probably say they got something they wanted to improve after the night, but pretty much every aspect had something positive, or really positive. Mm -hmm. to walk off the field tonight feeling good. How important was that for guys with that message of, you know, still trying to be improving and, and to see those fruits tonight. Yeah, it's huge. I think continuing to improve, whether it's good or bad, you know, I think there's two sides of it. Obviously, when things go well, I think some people can, you know, lay a hand off the the wheel. And when things are bad, I think people can be discouraged at times or, you know, want to work even more. But um, I just continue to say, you know, trying to stay even kill and uh, have the same process and not get bored of the routine um, is something that's real, you know. Uh, I think as people, we're always chasing and, you know, thinking of the future and, you know, very rarely stay in the present and uh, just enjoy the moment. So I think the guys have done a good job of it. You know, I, I've been trying to do that myself because, um, you know, tomorrow the sun rises, whether it's a win or a loss and uh, how you respond to good or bad, I think, uh, is a big testament to who you are. How'd you, um, second week in a row for Drake, second week in a row for Gavin Sawchuk. Are you guys identifying your playmakers right now, this late in the season, or is that just the way the games are unfolding? I think it's unique about our offense. We're able to you know, plug and play with a lot of guys who are very talented. Um, of course, there's hot hands you know, and, and stuff you know, to that. But I just think it's the trust and in, in the guys who have made or continue to make plays, you know, if shoot someone's hot, then you're going to play them. Or likewise, if someone's playing good, you know, trying to get them in more. But um, I think naturally just what the defense gives, I think we try to uh, take advantage of that. And those guys have, you know, been in the right spot. So well, it can be a slot day, it can be a tight end day, it can be an outside receiver day, it can be a QB day or running back day. Shoot, I, could be an O-line day if we just, you know, run the ball. But uh, it's, it's a combination um, of what we do. You like running it? I'm not opposed. <laughs> I'd rather throw one because two people get it, you know? It's a little more fun. But I don't complain, you know? I'm successful at it, though. Yeah, my, my little ass just tries to <laughs> find my way in there. But <laughs> hopefully they can't find me. But uh, no, it, uh, it's a good time. You know, I, I love the game. And I think uh, just as I've grown, I've, I've seen, you know, uh, this offense kind of grow as well, so.